I want to start out by wishing everybody a very happy and blessed Thanksgiving. And as I say that, I know that the Thanksgiving is going to be very different for most of us, if not all of us. Many of us will be, be gathering with family and friends, and there'll be empty spaces at the table. Some of us will want so badly to be to travel somewhere else, but because of the pandemic, we're making that decision um, not to. And so in that midst, in the midst of, you know, this can be a very difficult time, is not to lose the sense of what is truly important. Because we know that Thanksgiving is that time to come together as family. And even if there are empty places at our tables, and if we're not able to gather with family as we would hope, that we can't forget to take this day, this Thanksgiving, to, to truly be grateful for the connections that we have, um, the love that we share, and the, and the concern we have for, for family members. And so let's be grateful for, for one another. And let's be also grateful, as I am, for, for you, my family here at this parish. Um, so I want to take this time to thank you for all that you do and all that you are. Um, but one thing that I want to call us to do this Thanksgiving is, is whatever you may, wherever you may be and whatever you may be about on Thanksgiving is, is to do these things. One is to perhaps to pray with us. Um, if you can come to Mass, great. Uh, it's Thursday at 9, but come and pray with us online at 9 o'clock. Um, you're invited to do so or maybe join another Mass. What a wonderful way it is to celebrate this day by joining in the Eucharist. Another thing I, I want us to do is to reach out, to reach out to to a family member or a member of a community that you may you may know, because there's a lot of people that are hurting, a lot of people that feel overwhelmed. And, and I say that start with your family because there are a lot of people in our family. Sometimes they're they're suffering and their their stress can go unnoticed. Um, we really need to hear from and depend on one another. So, so reach out. And third, pray. Pray for one another. Pray for your families. Pray for our extended family. Uh, pray for all of those who, who are sick, um, those who are in the, fighting this disease at home or in the hospitals. And, and pray in a special way for all of those that are caring for them. Um, they're, they're doing a great job and they are overwhelmed and they need our support and prayers. And so again, as I wish everybody happy Thanksgiving, um, again, it's that time to, to turn to God and to be grateful for his grace, his providence, his love, and his life. And I'd like to conclude by reading this prayer that I came across uh, this morning by um, Diana McAlintel. Um, I know her I've, as an author, and she works a lot with liturgy and RCIA. And so this one really touched my heart as I... As you know, I'm grieving my father um, who died four months ago, and 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 also just that I won't be able to get together with with my family. So, here's a prayer. It's a Thanksgiving prayer in time of pandemic. On this Thanksgiving day, like no other, even now, O oh God, your name is worthy to be praised, for in your mercy and kindness, no thought of ours is left unguarded, no tear unheeded, and no joy unnoticed, for the blessings we have known. And for those we have yet to re recognize, to you we give our grateful thanks. For life, that reminds us how fragile we are and also how strong we can be. We thank you, O oh God. For sheltering, that urges us to rediscover what truly matters. We thank you, O oh God. For communication, that allows us to connect in ways new and old. We thank you, O oh God. And for mindfulness that shows us how much we rely on one another, we thank you, O God. Watch over your family, Lord, gathered here and at tables separated by miles. And bless those who work tirelessly to keep us all safe. Though we may be kept apart on this day that calls us together, we know your spirit draws us close. Lord, we ask you to ease the pain of empty chairs that bring to mind our beloved dead. Let our grieving find its rest in your Son, Jesus, in whose resurrection is our hope. Grant your spirit to be present here, that this meal may become a foretaste of your heavenly table, where every tear shall be wiped away, every hunger fed, and no distance can separate us from your love in Christ, 
from whom all good things come. Amen. So this is my prayer for you. This is my prayer for, for my uh, family. And it's something I'm going to share with them and pray for them on, on Thanksgiving Day. Thank you and God bless.